Ethan Hawke says he's been preparing for his latest role his entire life. He plays the fiery real-life abolitionist John Brown in The Good Lord Bird, based on James McBride's novel. It airs on Showtime, a division of Viacom CBS. Hawke is also an executive producer. Brown's story is told from the perspective of an enslaved boy nicknamed Onion. He's adopted by Brown's crew of abolitionist soldiers as they fight to free slaves across the state of Kansas in the 1850s. My name is Captain John Brown, and I am here in the name of the great Redeemer, the King of Kings, the man of the Holy Trinity, and I hereby order you to get, get in his holy name, get, for he is on the side of justice, and you it's a little intense, right? <laughs> Ethan Hawke joins us first on CBS this morning. Ethan, first of all, it is just a fabulous performance. Uh, thank you for being with us. Welcome. Uh, I, I think some some Thanks people, for having me. Yeah, some people remember uh, John Brown a little bit, maybe from history class. I remember seeing uh, a picture of the of the huge mural of him that's in the Kansas State Capitol by John Stuart Curry with his arms akimbo, you know, his hair looking like it's almost on fire, a tornado behind him, a Bible in one hand and a gun yeah. in the other. Who is the real John Brown? Well, that painting is really magnificent, and I had a poster of that painting in my dressing room and stared at it every day while I got dressed. You know, who is John Brown is a really great question, and there's a reason why a lot of our history teachers, you know, since the Civil War haven't taught us it, because he's an incendiary figure. Uh, in many, many ways, he started the Civil War, and if you teach him, you have to teach young people uh, the history of slavery in this country, and that's something that for a long time, everybody's been really uncomfortable with. Uh, I remember I, my parents were split up and my dad lived in Texas and my mom lived in Vermont. So I got two different teachings about John Brown. I mean, if his name came up at all, uh, one person would tell you it's the story of Northern aggression and you know, crazy terrorist white guy. And another side would say he was a freedom fighter. Mm. And I studied his letters and in truth, he's an extremely religious man yep. who, believed in the unwavering equality of mankind and was willing to do something about it. You, you, um, you, when you were, when you were reading uh, James McBride's book, which, which is surprisingly funny, by the way, as is, as is this series, uh, I mean, you find yourself laughing at things you would never think you'd be laughing at. Uh, you, you said you envisioned actually Jeff Bridges playing uh, John Brown. <laughs> yeah. But so what? Well, so what I, made I you didn't change? How old I've gotten. <laughs> <laughs> so what you made know, you change your uh, mind? Well, I don't know. You know, I think it's a little bit a great. It's first of all, you're so right. McBride's book is hysterically funny, and the genius the magic trick that he pulls off in telling Onion's story is he opens your heart by making you laugh. You know, normally a lot of this. P part of our history is just too painful to look at. But McBride puts so much love and humor in it. And, you know, I just love Jeff Bridges. I just pictured a, a hero. He's always been a hero to me. And But slowly I realized that um, that it was a really good part, and why would I give it up? <laughs> you say you've been, you've been working your whole life ultimately to play this part. Why? It just requires, it's a little bit like King Lear or something. You have to be old enough to understand it and still young enough to be able to run around and have the energy to, to do all that. I mean, you know, that scene they just showed. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm carrying two pistols. I've got about 40 pounds of wool on me, and it was 107 in Virginia, Whoa. and I got to scream all day. It's about the closest I ever came to having a heart attack is in that <laughs> shot. <laughs> I can imagine. I mean, there there are a lot of distinctive things about the films. One is your daughter Maya is in this is in this in this series. Yeah, that's the first time you've worked together, right? Well, I like to joke. You know, Maya and I've been working together since she's about four. I mean, yes. this this young person is uh, she's an incredibly gifted kid, and uh, she's not a kid anymore. I shouldn't say that. She's she always has been. She plays music and she paints and she takes right. She writes beautiful lyrics. She has a new album out that's really pretty magnificent. Um, and 
she's on Stranger Things right now. Yes. Uh. And so I, I got really lucky because of her success. You know, normally if a dad wants his daughter to be in a yeah. show he's producing, everybody thinks it's nepotism. But when yeah. I said, hey, would Maya be right for this part? I was like, ah, that could, could we get in touch with her? Yeah. Uh, so we're very lucky to have her. Yeah, that's great. Like you, she does many things because I, I, I heard that during the pandemic, in addition to all the other things you do, write novels, direct, act, you've taken up painting? <laughs> well, I don't say I paint well. Let me be clear. <laughs> I've taken up painting to try to maintain some sanity. Uh, you know, I'm a very busy, restless person. Uh, I, I work all the time, and I don't think I realized how much of my identity and self-respect and esteem I put into my work. And without it, I felt really off balance. Yeah. You know, just not being able to go to work every day. So I started doing, uh, you know... I started doing watercolors like one a day just to try to remember every day. Yeah. It, and whatever, try whatever. to make myself feel like I did something. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. Well, you've done a lot. Ethan Hawke, the, the good Lord bird, is really fantastic. Premieres this Sunday Yay! on Showtime. Yeah. Nice work. Yay! Ethan Hawke, thanks so much for being with us. It's a really fabulous performance. Congratulations. <laughs>